Hey everyone, it's me again. I am on my way over to my friend's house and we are going to tour it and see what he got for the money that he spent because he had this built prior to moving over here. And it's a little bit of an adventure to get to it just right now only because uh, Typhoon Audette actually ripped out the bridge. Uh, it took it out so now there's a man-made one we have to get there and they are rebuilding the one for the vehicles so looks a little uh, suspicious but that's all right we'll make it work Hey everyone, it's me again. I am uh, staring at the microphone instead of the camera. So, uh, hey everyone, it's me again. I am headed over to my friend Chaz's house. He's actually waiting for me right here. And we are going to take a look at his house and what he got. And we live in the Philippines, so this is a beautiful neighborhood. If you're new to the channel, my name is Corey. Uh, my wife's name is Raquel, and we moved to the Philippines from Chicago. So we are going to walk over to Chaz's house. I like your neighborhood. Pretty nice here. So I see you have a goat over here. That's important in the Philippines. So this is Chaz's house. Come on in. I'll show you around. It's the neighborhood karaoke bar. And how wide is this patio again? Because you just got this port actually. It's approximately 24 feet wide and I'd say 20. And how many square meters is the lot? Well this lot you have this right? yeah this is all this is all ours with this house over here. This lot here is 400 from that tree to that tree over there is 480 meters. Yeah, okay. and then our house, I don't know the actual size of the lot, but it's probably a little less than 480, you know, because it's not as big as this. So here you have your outside sitting area. You don't use this all that often now, do you? Now that you have the inside one? Yeah, when we have people over, we'll sit out here. Uh, sometimes we'll barbecue uh, some fresh fish and uh, sit out here and barbecue and have lunch out here. Uh, but we have our new sitting area that we had just finished. We just finished this about a month ago, maybe not even. We have an enclosed sitting area. I like the plants you guys have put in and you can see all the trees back there from Audette. It's not you guys, it's the wife. Yeah, there's damage from Odette. My young Hapun! <laughs> I'm not hitting on some random girl, it's actually his wife. Just done all the landscape around and basically out front is mostly finished. It's hard to tell from here with the camera, but I really like his privacy glass because it's, it's a blue reflection and that's all you can see. Yeah. Well, you know what? You can see me from the reflection, but that's all you can see. And he paid, uh, you just told me... 15 I paid 15000 We have six windows. I paid 15000 for these windows. Uh, originally, when we ordered, we ordered from someone else, we paid 16000 and the guy took off with our money. He moved to Manila, he you said? He moved to Manila, so we were out that 15000 So we, I paid for these windows twice. So, but 15000 is $300 American for six windows. That's not bad at all. 
Well, either way, I mean, you still, you got a good price, because I mean, right, right. That, that's still a good, unfortunately he paid for it twice, but either right. way, um, that they're really good privacy, because when I walk right up to them, I can't see inside at all when they're blue reflective. Uh, mine are tinted copper, his are tinted blue, so I like that, because it goes with his outside. Mine, my house is obviously a different color, but right. um, funny thing is, me and Chaz actually met on YouTube, uh, because I was driving in a video and then he said you just drove by my house <laughs> right. Right. Uh, and I haven't met any foreigner around here so then we met up for uh, coffee lunch another time dinner whatever and, um, yeah yeah I mean I, I live right down the road I wouldn't say I could walk to my house but if I had you to, could I could if you, I had to but yeah. I would take a tricycle yeah but no it's a really nice neighborhood I like this we both yeah. love the Philippines. And something, you can't see them, but these screens, these windows do have screens. Oh, okay, yeah, you can't tell from out here at all. The privacy does a really good job. There's actually screened, all the, all the windows are screened as well. That's nice. So. And they are going to put plants inside of there. Well, I'm sure his wife's gonna do it. Right. And here's the patio. They actually just had this built and this is where they spend a lot of their time. So we'll uh, take a look at it. Have you eaten any of them? Uh-huh, we had one just the other day. Oh, I like this. He's got a cantaloupe tree right out front. Yep. Can't have these kind of things in the, in the United States anyways. And a beautiful view. It's gonna be a little hard to capture from here, but. Yeah, the mountains. Yep. As you stated on all your, all your videos, the ocean to one side, mountains to the other side, and you can see the mountains up here. So we can tell when, it's, when it rains heavy in the mountains, uh, this river comes up quite a bit, and they just completed this wall. Uh, they just completed this section of it uh, two weeks ago. So they're going all around the village to redo it. And yep. then you saw the bridge when you came in. The yep. bridge is torn up from Odette. Yes. And they're going to redo that as well. Yeah, he's actually currently parking his vehicle right on the other side of the little bridge that I walked across. Right. I'll make sure to put that footage in. Uh, and he's parking and then he walks over here because uh, Odette actually took out the entire bridge. Uh, so there's a little man-made bridge and then he walks over to his house. But soon he'll be able to park on his, on his pad. Right. So that'll be nice. And do you know what, uh, how big this room is? Oh, you got a backup generator that's good yeah i have a generator i you know i do come here come on i don't have dimensions i could only guess this room is probably 14 by 8. Yeah, it could be yeah okay eight by yeah it looks 14 15 yeah, yeah. So, so this is actually my music room so i sit out here and i uh, play my music We're using the he has another room off of his bedroom uh, That he was using for music, but I think his wife kicked him out of that room. No, I'm just, I'm just joking <laughs> So now he's using this but I like this because they screened it all in and that is uh, what is it six feet six feet? Yeah, six feet total ceiling fan yeah. So a lot of air movement in here, but it's screened in so there's no bugs or anything right. comfortable couch and the reason we did this is we like to sit out here at night when it cools off. It gets pretty cool right. in the evening. And it's comfortable to sit out here, but there's a lot of bugs. So we enclosed it so we could still sit out here and enjoy the cool weather. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. It's a yeah. nice nice room. I like and the I, area. And I like to listen to, the, listen to the thunder, so I'll sit out here. It's the rainy season right now. Yep. So I'll sit out here and listen to the rain and the thunder. It's calming. Is that tasty? Is it yummy? It's imported. It should be. <laughs> Come here. That's all right. Come on. Come on in. We're gonna walk into his kitchen. We believes it's a uh, 16 by 16. Yeah. R roughly, roughly 16 by 16. Uh, storage, fridge, freezer. Yeah, you have everything you need. I like the fan. Water cooler, that's very important oh, around here. Very important. And I noticed you had an inverter over there. What are you using the inverter for? Oh, like the uh, for the blender and the heavy, uh, we have a couple appliances, like a, uh, a dough maker that uses a, uh, 
uses the uh, inverter. So we have a couple things. And then my base equipment is I use an inverter outside also. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, wanna see the bedroom? This is the ice box, <laughs> the walk-in cooler. Come on in. Just kind of go that way. Yep. Yeah, so he was using uh, this little area over here, like a office um, slash music room, but yeah, it is really cold in here. Yeah. It's really cold. Yeah. You need it. It's comfortable. But that, that's a king size bed, so you have plen king size bed. plenty of space. Plenty of space. This is a guitar case, not a rifle case. It's a guitar case. If you say so, I don't know. I'm not going to open it. <laughs> Just in case. So yeah, this is very, very comfortable. And then you have uh, your own CR in there, right? It's full bathroom, shower, yep. and, a, and a toilet and a sink. Uh, a little dark, that's okay. Yeah. But yeah, anyways. So in, Amer in America, we're used to all this elaborate luxury, you know, high class, everything. In the Philippines, it's, it's low key. Simple. It's, it's very simple, very simple. So no, I, I get it. And when people I, are happy with simple. I get it, Chaz, 110%. I used to try and do everything elaborate, e even with my house. And now it's, I don't care about half of the stuff that I was building because I'm happy when I, I have my smoothie in the morning and I walk outside and I'm looking at palm trees and mango trees and coconuts and it's peaceful. Less than a third of what I had in America, in my home. Yep, I Less that. than a third. I believe that. And you were telling me before you spent how much on the land? Uh, well, the land that the house is on, I didn't pay anything for. Uh, well, I take that back. Used to have a small two bedroom straw shack, really simple. The roof leaked, it was, it was horrible. Uh, my wife bought the property for eight hundred dollars U.S., which is four thousand, four thousand pesos. Oh yeah, not much. Roughly, yeah. So then I started. We started this back room, and just came this way and went out that way, and bought the property next door. Put a house over there next door for her brother, and I have a total. Total investment is approximately 50 grand American. So that's 2.5 million pesos. And that's, I correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's because you actually had like 35 or something into this house and then you bought the lot next to it. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. So you own, right. Yeah, we bought the lot next door for 180,000 pesos, which is $3,000 mm -hmm. roughly. Uh, and then we put a house on there for her brother and his family. And I have 50,000 pesos into that, which is $1,000. So the money goes up and down because it's like 54 right now. So yeah, it went up really high. And I got to say years ago when I was over here on vacation, it was down to like 45, 46, yeah. which is not, it good, went not up good for us. It went up to 58 about yeah. a month and a half ago. Yep. And now it's back down to 54. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm in the whole project not over 50,000 the whole land and all and you have three bedroom because three bedroom. you have the bedroom we just looked at you have your daughter's room which we're not going to walk into obviously right. and then there's a guest room here and then you have the the guest room yeah. over there and these and rooms are eight by eight if you want to yep look in here yeah, just a basic eight by eight room. It's, yeah, it looks like my office. Right, right. Which in the Philippines, that's a really nice room. Right. So oh, yeah. we, we get in the American mindset of being yeah. spoiled and what we have, but an right. eight by eight room in the Philippines with glass and screens, right. you're doing good. This room doesn't have ceiling fans. We have floor fans if we want to put floor fans. Our daughter's bedroom has a ceiling fan and air con. Uh, ceiling fan in the kitchen as you see it's even with the fan on it's still very hot in here mm -hmm. and our walk-in freezer has a uh, aircon 
in, a, in our bedroom. So Because you're running a split aircon. So yeah, it goes split aircon the, in there, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you have your pressure pump. I, I like that you bought a cooler. Oh, okay. that Let's was go smart. out the back door. Let's go out the back door. This is a second bathroom. The bathroom? Um, I don't. It's up to you. Yep. Okay. Second bathroom. Washing machine. And then the water tank and pump is back here. I think that's 75 gallons. Looks about right. There's a tag on the side. I don't know if I could read it though. The pup's good size, looks bigger than mine, but he has a three foot retaining wall going around the whole property in case you're looking at it on the video. Uh, during Audet, this whole area flooded. I mean, you can, I'll add in footage of everything going around here, but it was just water because the bridge gave way over there. It knocked down the retaining wall, which I'll put on video. And this was this area was all water, so they added in this three foot retaining wall just so that they know now that they're all living here right. and the house has all their stuff in it, they're safe. Just that extra protection, the wall goes around the whole house, yeah. So, uh, we needed to do that. No, very, very smart. I like that. See, there's back there is some rubbish left over from Odette, which is just very very little. Here, Chaz is trying to do his Filipino accent. I don't think it's going well, but yeah. he, he seems to like it. Anyway, uh, this is my amazing wife, Rhoda. And she's an amazing cook. <laughs> and she takes very good care of me, treats me like a king. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what I would do without her, so. Anyway, uh, Rhoda has done a lot of the uh, plants in the, in the area and see we have a garden out there mm -hmm. the garden has fresh uh, eggplant and I showed you the the uh, the Papaya. cantaloupe tree and so we're trying we have out here we have basil we have we have parsley uh, growing so uh, these plants I don't know if you could see in these pink and white is a uh, basil and and a uh, parsley. And that's actually a pizza oven that he built because yeah. he's he's Italian. Um, however, the pizza is, is not coming out right out of it. So the pizza oven failed. I think there's too much of a gap to where the heat was escaping and it wasn't cooking the pizza properly. So I pretty much gave up on that project. But it was fun while it lasted. And how long have you and Rhoda been together now? We've been together three years, and we've been married. We just had our first wedding anniversary two days ago. So Chaz actually got here roughly the same time as me. He actually got here, what, a month before? Uh, two weeks before. Okay, yeah, two weeks before. I got here at the end of February. He was here at the beginning of February. Beginning of February, yeah. So. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, again, I'm here with my friend Chaz. I'm going to actually take off, uh, but it was really nice seeing your house I really do appreciate it absolutely and this gives uh, people a good idea of what you get for this area I'm not gonna put his house on the map of course but uh, you know we live in Negros an hour and a half ish you know above Dumaguete but I would consider him my neighbor he lives less than 10 minutes from me um, so it's good to find another foreigner in my neighborhood and you're right. you're happy with what you spent right oh I'm very happy I'm very happy I, I think I got a lot for my money you know, the construction, and solid construction. Uh, I'm not worried about the building falling down. Right. Because it's not going to fall down. I hope. Right. No, I get what you're saying. I'm, I'm uh, really impressed with how well the contractor did because everything looks so square. It's very impressive. A lot of times you'll walk into a house around here and you'll, you'll look at straight lines where in the U.S. I know they would be straight and around here they'll right. be kind of jittery and all over the place, but this was really well done. So, I mean, like, like he said before, he's got less than 50K into this. Wonderful neighbors, really peaceful neighborhood. Right. Very and peaceful here. Very peaceful. And like we've been talking about sitting on his couch, stress-free. I mean, are you stressed out? 
Not at all. No, right, exactly. Not at all. Um, the only stressful time is paying the electric bill. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that doesn't even stress me out. Right, no, I know, because it's, yeah. it's this much of, you know, the monthly out, so it's not a big deal, but yeah. No, this is, yeah. anyway, so thank you for letting me see your house. I appreciate it, letting everyone else see it, and. Absolutely, thanks for coming over. Yeah, it's You're a, welcome anytime. He keeps saying that, but I'm going to show up at 2 a.m., see what he says. I'll be sleeping, but, well, if you have a key, you could get in. But if not, <laughs> you could sit out there. We have benches out there. Sounds good. All right, thank you for watching, everyone.